Hello everyone and welcome to my Ostrogoth campaign in Total War Attila. This has been Pope. Thanks to the mod tools being released for Attila Total War, uh, we are able to use mods once again. Of course, a lot of the mods are non-save game compatible, so I can't really add any crazy mods. But one, um, one noticeable one is going to be the better water. You see the water looks realistic and it's pretty. Um, I have a better camera mod for both campaign and combat. You see how zoomed in I am here. Uh, normally you can't zoom in that far and you can't zoom out this far. Um, so those are worth getting. I'll probably have a link with the mods that I um, sub to from the Steam's Workshop in the description so there'll be a link there you can look at them. A couple of them are not gonna work here like um, what's the one I don't have like the more meaningful meaningful seasons I don't have uh, enabled for this campaign and I don't have enabled uh, 12 turns per year I do have uh, the diplomacy and occupation uh, is that a correct word? Like when you know when you conquer a territory and you have like options to occupy, sack, raise, create strappy, that sort of thing. Those are all unlocked and, and same with uh diplomacy options. So like there's same blood um icons that appear back on here which were not available with it with the vanilla game and you can uh, ask for um Confederacy, so any of these guys with the same blood, I could just be like, hey guys, you come, wanna come. Let me hear confederate? Look, they would I actually join me. I have no stomach for the meat or That's nice. insane. So, um, their strength ranking is 51. So I might get a free army from, from those guys if I, um, should I? And tea and crap. Uh, you know what, let's do it. Yes. So the Antians, remnants of the Antians is what we just um, acquired there. And uh, let's see, the Lugans are kind of getting beat up too. Um, before I do that, let me make sure I have enough um, armies for out of eight. Okay, good. So I can take more armies. 4 out of 8. Does that mean I actually got an army? Yep, they are very How beat up. Mercenary, 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 mercenary. Holy crap. Okay. So, uh, I just have one general that maybe I can um, get him home somehow. The oath of the Athenians. Um, can is that is that like even? No, we're gonna disband. That's eating up all our cash. Um, why don't I make this guy like a? Uh, well, I don't know. Get him out of there quick. How do I get him out of there quick? I should make him um, governor somewhere. Or something. Alright. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to look at the other dudes that I can possibly... Uh, the Cathurgians are, are likely not going to... Want to confederate. Same with like the... Aust uh, Visigoths. The Lugans are pretty beat up, so we maybe they... To listen to your offers, but do not trap them in lies. The spirits um, know truth. Alright. Yeah, let's propose the offer. Um, and... The Vandals, way out there. <laughs> I welcome you, this is not cheating. Speaker. I listen because like some people are known to have honor. 
You're at war with so many people. It's not even funny. Uh, you know what? Let's um. Let's do something before we try, because I mean that's they're gonna say yes. So um. Visigoths are likely not gonna say yes. All right, so this army has probably gotta go from here. What's this? What's this? Varinians. You know that's a good name for you guys. Um, we're gonna have to get rid of all of these mercenaries, though. German levy, mercenary, this and that. Uh, and these guys. That's still eating up a lot of money. Why don't we go up here? Oh, like, like seriously, like up there. And should probably raid. It's like we're getting food and stuff, but all right. Uh, so that sounded like you know all fun and 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 stuff, but it's eating up our cash, isn't it? <laughs> Ready for uh, some of these levies can probably get tossed out. We'll have to bring those guys home, and we'll have to bring this guy home. Uh, yeah, so I guess it's about confederations today. Let's just end the turn uh, once we give them zeal there, fearless warrior or wolf. Just go for wolf. And I suppose Kind of do the same sort of thing that we always do. Um, so I was looking at diplom diplomatically. Oh, I can. Where are you guys? No, I mean, where are you guys? I, I I can't even see these guys. Where are they? Okay, how about that again? Apparently they're over here, but. I don't see their emblem or anything. They're hostile. Hmm. Before you say anything, know that I have an amulet against the evil. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's a, a temperamental, aggressive Middle Eastern that seems to be. Appearing up here somewhere. Okay. I even forgot what I was talking about. So. There goes that. Yeah, I was looking at. I don't remember now. I was looking at uh, the strength of what's around. And the Western Roman Empire is actually ranked number one with. Consult your ancestors, but you will see the merit in the offer I bring from my people. They want to marry. Mm. To their high king, huh? You know what? That's that's fine. Let's let's get some money off of it though. Moderate? No, let's just do it. It feels like a high offer chance then some money would have come out of it. So 
So the Western Romans are the strongest right now, followed by the Eastern Romans and then the Sassanids. So I can't really be like, oh, let's not worry about those guys. Uh, but I do kind of feel like I want to venture east with the Ostrogoths. Um, because since I have other campaigns, I just started the Burgundians. You'll be able to watch the first episode by the time this episode is out. And the Burgundians, I'm probably going to focus on the Western Roman Empire and just Gaul and that area. And then eventually I'll also have a Danes campaign. And I'm going to do a lot of like seafaring, um, sort of, you know, conquest, maybe go everywhere a little bit and do like small colonies. Um, Favilok has, oh this guy is, um, the dude we just got in. Raise an army. We just freaking did an army. We got like new armies, like up the kazoo. Don't know what you want. Okay, so we want to go around. Mm. Around this way. And then possibly, yeah. Come down here. Uh, I could force march them, obviously. So let's do that. Gathering supplies. No, he's not raiding, but... whoop de doo All right, so let's um, sort of move him. Likely have to go in the water with this guy. Or actually, we can probably just come around. It's all desolate. All of it is desolate. Oh, jeez. Well, it's good knowing you, um, <laughs> Hilderic, with the oath. I forgot what their name was spelled. See, I forgot who these guys were. Balls. All right. What was the name? I'll have to look it up and type it in later, but it was the oath of... Something with an A. <laughs> um, yeah. There, how about the wheel emblem since you're coming from way out there? I don't know. Shoot those. Okay, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna lose him, but uh, we're gonna go to our Any of these guys become anything? Alright, so this guy was Hilderic. We can probably make him um, governor somewhere. So, like, this guy is in Dardania. Uh, if I remove him office. And get Hilderic to be the Dardania's office. Oh, only a statesman. Whoops. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Oh, we have a new guy here. Um. This, the High King of the Visigoths, shows up in our family, married with 
this lady Oh, I see what I need to do. Okay, I just I could just disband the army. Ready for battle. There, now he's on his way home. And um What was that mission? That mission was Raise an army and get experience from recruits. All right. Not that I need to raise another army. Um, this guy... Didn't this place have an army? Hmm. Glorious Reavers Our High King Seekers of Glory Yeah, I'm sure this guy had an army here There was... There was the heck happened? Alright So... Now the problem is that I removed somebody from office and I don't see him on the list anymore. He was Arjibald. He's Arjimund. The general. Let's put this leader person. Atha Najild. He shall be a general. Alright. That totally blows. What I could do... Um, so this guy had a real loyalty... Loyalty problem. No, it's this guy had... The heck, who had a loyalty problem? Excuse me. Favilak. Thirsty for battle. All right. So why is? Why is he not on the list? Hilderic. I'm so confused. He's a statesman. He's in Force March. Um, yeah. <laughs> what? If I'm just blind and not seeing well, I apologize. But this is kind of looking like what I'm, what I'm seeing is what's happening. Ready for orders. Yep. I maybe. Maybe that's broken because of um, Okay, so it expires and What if I still wanted that in there? Research for military construction cost and growth. Let's do that. Maybe because I got that dude f uh, through um, 
confederation. It's sort of buggy, but then the other guy got f uh, through confederation. Came up just as well. Just not showing up. Uh, they're not showing up in the um, being a statesman. So I don't know. It's a bit fishy, but um, I all I did is I saved some people from um, other parish. They would have just died. Uh, so their families should be thankful. Although the mercenaries they had in their armies I did not keep. Um, it's because th those mercenaries can, you know, go back home and, and work their farms. And uh, enlist in the army for real if they want to. Gainus and Goswinda. Illegitimate birth. I'm guessing that uh, who is Goswinda? Is Gainas and Goswinda? Is I wish I knew who this was. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it happened where, like, you know, this guy had a, a, a daughter with, like, this person, her freaking, his freaking cousin. Very, um... Very uncool. Alright, how many... Can probably get rid of these guys. And then we're gonna give the hurlers and the other spears here. And uh, we're gonna disband the vanguard of the Logos, Logos, for now, because we don't need them. Ready for orders. So yeah, we have two, four, six, seven spears. There might be a bit too many spears, uh, but as soon as we get. Better units, I should say. Um, gosh, I swear there was a general there. Let's see. Yeah, see the reborn boars. They were sitting around. Right there. So this would actually make it, um, there's Archibald, sweet, how old is he now, 45, Hildric, fearless warrior, Mundus, hmm, I I'll go with uh, with Arjabad since he's got some uh, oomph behind him. All these things. He's been a judge before, and he's oh no, he's he's got those traits. Never mind. It's too bad he's missing the uh, <laughs> he's missing the uh, required amount of grandparents or something like that. Okay. Let's end our turn. I didn't really spend any money. Did my money go up at all? At it turn's end? I'll have to look at that. I only have 1800. Thought I had more. So 
So yes, I will be attacking eastward with the Ostrogoths. And this is this is kind of like uh, this is one of those episodes where uh, we're still building up, so we might not see a fight right away. Uh, but we should be making money enough to possibly take another, um, colonize another city. Okay, so we have 2600 now. The, uh, the Vandals are no more. I was thinking of taking him over. We are Imperium level intimidating. We can have 10 armies, 5 fleets, 5 governors. Two, three spies, three priests, champions. We don't even have any of those. Uh, like we can recruit no one. As far as agents goes. So uh, we have to get we have to get with the, t the times. They say. Get with the times. So like here. Um. Town center, market stalls, that would get us, that would get us uh, spies. And... This would get us priests if we were to get this. Your religious influence, your public order. Um. Yeah, we could. That gives food. Hemorrhage, and this just gives public order. So we probably want that to get priests, and we want uh, the market stalls to get spies, and I think. The champion. I have no idea where the champion is. Maybe in the meeting hall later on. Let's see. This gives us. Or Lord's Hold, some swordsmen, falcsmen, and Germanic swordsmen, cavalry. Gothic falcsmen. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where the uh, the champion is. Oh well. <laughs> maybe it's, uh, maybe it's from this smithy stuff. Which I don't think so, because I would have seen it. Yep, no clue. Oh yeah, we were gonna build a torp here, you guys. That was like our. That was like our one thing that we we thought of doing. What's this wagon? Capacity. So, okay, so those cost money, so we have to get either that one or one of these. Hall of the Elders. No idea. No idea which one's better to get. Okay, um... No, 
Um, I think we're nearing the end of our episode here, and you can say it's boring. I know, I know, it didn't do very well. Uh, so we got those armies that we confederate with. We got them home one way or another, and um, we have a group of warriors for the Iron Wolves now. I can always recruit these guys back. We have a ton of them in here too. We'll keep them for now just to see how well our... Um, if we need to defend or not. And uh, today I'm going to end the episode with the screen way out here just to kind of show off the... Actually, let's, let's, do, let's go close in for the water. The water is beautiful. There you go. We're gonna we're gonna end the episode like this. Better looking water. One of the mods I installed. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And do check out my other campaign, the Burgundians, which just started. If you haven't watched it yet, go ahead and do that. Uh, give it a like. Give this episode a like too. Any sort of um, comments you feel like commenting, go ahead. I don't mind if it's construct constructive criticism or whatever else it will be. Um, I like interacting with you guys and the more you interact with me, I can interact back. So yeah, hopefully you come back for the next episode and check out everything else I have on my channel. Do spread the word, tell others about it. Maybe they would enjoy it too. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.